Hello everybody, welcome back to EAFC Youth Academy Challenge with Gillingham and this is, well, nearly the end of the season. We have three episodes left, two left in the Premier League and an FA Cup final to bring you against Leeds as well. Um, but yes, we've I've just been doing lots of admin in the game uh, behind the cameras, but we're not going to hang around, we're going to go straight into the game against Sheffield United, um, although we've got our scouts out there looking at, oh, they're, they're available to set up some, uh, some new scouting areas countries scout some places let's go out there and uh, set them up so you staff oh, and there was me saying we're going to get straight into the game when clearly we're not but uh let's go for now i did have some recommendations but i don't have my notes with me so apologies um we're finding it very hard to find players that are going to come into our league anyway so i think we go for some more slightly obscure countries let's go six months in on moldova looking for physically strong moldovans in uh, in europe which i think would be pretty cool and let's go for i think let's stick with the rest of you let's go to hungary i've just done a i've just i'm managing it or i was managing a team in uh oh wait where whoa, whoa, whoa hungary's down here somewhere there we go um i was managing a team in hungary in football manager on the other channel so go check that out uh, as well and let me know your thoughts on that but let me know next season do we go into the season and do every game again or do we just come back for the important games and hopefully the european games because if we win our game in hand we are back in the champions league spots now i'm not sure when our game in hand is but uh yeah if we win it we will be back in the champions league spots right they're playing a wing back system so our full backs and wingers should be able to uh, exploit the space a little bit more so we'll be looking to do that but there we go four two three one no vacuum behind Zhao. it's as full strength lineup as pinto comes in to replace marquez for this one but uh, yeah let's get into it so here we are then for gillingham versus sheffield united and it should be uh, a good game here at priestfield hopefully gillingham can carry on their winning form and uh, look to look to get back into those champions league spaces which will be incredible in their first season in the premier league and this is the overloads we're looking for down the wing straight away eduardo mercado looking to come forward but a good tackle from trusty puts in uh, uh, and wins the ball back for sheffield united as delap comes forward into carry sheffield united trying to go down the wings as cash maddie cash comes forward signed from aston villa at some point in this alternative universe maddie cash Still coming forward. We're just going to try pin him in the corner here, basically. There we go. Lovely stuff. Well done, Clarky. And we can bring this one away up to Fujiwara. Fujiwara comes forward. We've got Zhao making a run in front of him, but really well done by Nagalo as uh, Sheffield United get the ball back. Walter Mead gives it away, and uh, Gilliam can just settle down now. First, first 10 minutes done, dusted. Let's have a bit of possession. Eduardo, really good run down the right-hand side, and he's got in behind the defence here. Eduardo could be in. Great save from Schroeder in goal. Not too sure how he kept that one out. Nil-nil still, 14 minutes gone. A really good save from the Sheffield United goalkeeper as Rivero just pushes this one in towards Jovanovic with a header. Oh, it's another really good save from Schroeder in goal. He's keeping him in, in the, uh, the, the goalkeeper. Another corner then. This one to be swung in from Novak towards the back post. Zhao's going to be beaten in the air there. Jovanovic keeps it alive. Looking for Fujiwara. Lays it off to Clark. Clark, he has a shot. Uh, straight at the goalkeeper. Novak picks up the loose ball in midfield and he's going on a jinking run that he's become famous for. It was a really good tackle from Downings, to be honest, to make sure that Novak couldn't get through as uh, Sheffield United hold on to the ball. And I don't, I don't want to say Novak's been a disappointment since re-signing he has been slightly underwhelming though as cash looks her across to the back post and biambo's there with a header he's got it back and a shot over the bar but yes i was talking about novak yeah i don't want to say he's been oh every time i try and talk about novak i'd make a mistake as walter means in clarky what a challenge from uh the the smaller of the two center backs the lap shot past the post and I will finish my sentence about Novak in a minute. Yes, right. So I don't want to say he's been a disappointment. Because I don't think he's been a disappointment. But his goal out output has been less than what I thought it would be. I think is a nice way to describe it. I think we need to potentially change system next year to, to get the most out of him. Because he is the best player at the club in terms of um, attributes. But... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see as Matty Cash runs forward again, but he's run that one out of play. for Fujiwara with a strong tackle on Matty Cash, and he's got a lot of space to run into here, for Fujiwara. Cuts it back, there's Zhao. One more, and it goes back to Pinto, and it goes to Eduardo, but just crowded out of it. They're three centre-backs, proving very hard to break down in this five-at-the-back system. Pinto's won the ball high up the pitch, though. 
Can he get it inside? He can get it inside. It is Novak with a curling effort over the bar. Wolds are made up to Magnussen for Sheffield United in what's been a, a pretty quiet first half in this game. Not too many goal scoring opportunities. Gillingham will look to change that as they come forward through Mercado, who this time cuts in field. Great overlapping run from Schneider as well. And he's got Zhao there. Zhao's doing an absolutely awful run, but there's a cutback. Oh, what an interception for Ibrahim. And it's half time. Terrible run from Zhao in the striker. Just ran in a straight line with his arm up in the air. No changes at half time. Sheffield United get the second half underway as Ibrahim gives it back into De Lapp. And Kari will look to come forward for Sheffield United, who are near the bottom and actually not playing the player that we sold them to. I can't remember his name, but I know there's one of the guys they've got and we're uh, quite interested in bringing him back to the club. Well done, Cusick. Good interception there. Fujiwara. Zhao. Out to Fujiwara again. This is better from Gillingham. This is the sort of football we've come to expect. And Fujiwara is using his pace really well. Fujiwara is there. Cut back. Novak. Goal. As we said, his goal output hasn't been brilliant. Zan Novak gets a goal to make it 1-0. Gillingham. What a counter-attack. And Zan Novak with the goal. Come on. What a counter. Love that. Fujiwara's burst of pace. I'm tempted to replace Fujiwara. We're going to go for um, Amin again in the summer from Bristol City. And then uh, Fujiwara will have to drop to a, a bench place. But Novak just cut across the ball past the goalkeeper, who's had a really good first half, but couldn't keep that one out. 1-0 Gillingham. Matty Cash going on a really, really good run for Sheffield United down the right-hand side. He's got to the byline. Clark comes over, wins the ball. I think it is going to be a corner, and it is a corner for Sheffield United. The away team... Starting to up the pressure. They did make a sub, bringing on Mario Martin there for Magnussen. And, uh, oh, he's put that one into Waldmead. Good save, McNeil on the rebound. And McNeil claims it bravely from the goalkeeper. Uh, a few shouts from the comments saying that he may have max maximised his potential so far. But I still think he's got more to give this team as Fujiwara comes forward. Just looks to dink that one down the line. Matty Cash defends it well, but Fujiwara gets it back. Cusick inside, poor pass. Easy for Domingos, who I'm pretty sure I called Downings. Um, read his name completely wrong in an earlier highlight. Oh, good ball through. I'm not too sure how that beat the defender. And Delap has rifled that home. What a finish from Liam Delap. Signed from Man City. What I mean, the ball that got through, it's a very much an EA sort of issue because my defender just decided not to sprint Clarky. But a great finish from Delap. Absolutely rifled past McNeil into the top corner. It's 1-1. Eduardo comes forward with it, but again, just stopped in his path. He's not had the best of games, Eduardo. Trust he seems to be getting the ball off him quite easily every time he runs forward. And here is Buyabu into Delap again. Already got one goal today. Clarkie's got to come out and try and slow him down. Clarkie, great defending from Clarkie. He's had a few questionable moments since we re-bought him back to the club, but that was very, very good uh, defensively there from the smaller of the two centre-backs. The American doing very well. Eduardo, good header away to... Well, actually, get all the way through to Novak. And Zan Novak, oh, he's beaten the last man. Zan Novak, the Slovenian. What a counter again this could be from Gillingham. Zan Novak's in on goal. Novak shoots. It's 2-1. And Zan Novak is proving his manager wrong as he gets two goals. Maybe, maybe he took the, uh, he took the pressure of being asked to score more goals well. And he is turning up the header defensively just got all the way through the Sheffield United players. The, the one defender they had completely committed himself. Novak turned him with ease and then just had to place it into that corner and make it... Oh, well, it didn't even go to the corner. Down the middle of the goal. And that is 2-1 Gillingham. Out it goes to the wing to Biabu. Biabu comes forward for Sheffield United. Does well. Puts it back into Waltermead, who's got a bit of time to turn. Pinto's there to head that one away. And Novak comes forward and he's enjoying his... Football at the moment, or oh, that could be a dangerous pass. Yeah, not the best pass to pick out Fujiwara. Sheffield United are throwing men forward, though, to try and find this equaliser. And we've just got to keep our defensive discipline and see if we can uh, hold them out and get what would be a big win, to be honest. You'd expect us to beat Sheffield United with the form we've been in. But uh, it's not always easy to beat these teams at the bottom. There's some poor defending there. We've let him Mario Martin. Great tackle from Jovanovic. Five minutes to go in this one as Walter Maid comes off. He's going to be replaced up front by our man. This is the guy. What's his name? I can't remember his name. But this is the man we're thinking if Sheffield United get relegated, we might be signing him back. Uh, Walter Mead comes off. He's going to be straight into the action. Bailey forces his ex-teammate into a wonderful save. Dominic Bailey. I've remembered his name now, now that that's come up. But yeah, straight on. And if Sheffield United go down, he is someone we are very interested to bring back to the club. McNeil, great save, but on the rebound. 
It's a tap in for Liam Delap with four minutes to go. Oh, he reacted quickest out of everybody. And Zan Novak's two goals have been just equaled by Liam Delap. It's a really good poacher's goal. Uh, Dominic Bailey does really well on the right side. Low cross in. Good save from McNeil. Oh, but as he tried to catch it with his second attempt, it's actually bounced right in the path of Delap. And he ain't going to miss from there. Oh, Matty Cash is through. And oh, Sheffield United are going to have one hell of a turnaround here. Free cross in. Bailey! Oh, I think they've won it. With four minutes to go, and that's injury time only. Dominic Bailey against his former club has scored a really good header. But Matty Cash down that right-hand side. Fujiwara lost the ball. It caught um, Cusick out of position, and that's a really good cross. And Dominic Bailey, what a header that is. Keeps it low, beats McNeil, and Gillingham from 2-1 up are going to be losing this one now at home to bottom of the table, Sheffield United. Pinto comes forward, he's fouled, and there is one minute to go. Sheffield United resorting to bad tackles to uh, to slow this one down. Is it going to be a yellow? Yeah, it's a yellow card for the Sheffield United man, as we're going to try and work this one into the box a little bit. Give us a, a good shooting opportunity, Pinto. Trying to go the long way around, not too many options. Time running out, this will be the last attack of the game, you feel. Schneider looks to turn back. Out to Fujiwara. In it goes to Eduardo. Can he get enough space for the shot off? No, he can't. Eduardo goes wide. Cusick. Back to Eduardo again. Drives into the box. Eduardo. There's a man square. Novak with the hat trick. Zan Novak has got the hat trick in the 98th minute when only forward men have be added on. Zan Novak gets his hat trick. Really patient play from Gillingham. We waited and waited and waited. And Zan Novak has come up with the goal. Come on, Eduardo's done nothing in this game other than that assist. That was superb, really patient play. Eduardo Mercado, low cross in, and Novak finishes it from close range to get his hat trick, and he has stepped up when the manager has said he needs to. 3-3 three, three at the death, Zan Novak, what a guy, what a player. And of course it is full time, 3-3 three, three with two goals in the 90th minute, and Zan Novak takes the match ball home. He stepped up and I needed him to, bloody hell. So obviously Zan Novak is man of the match with a 9.5. The only disappointing performance is McNeil. Yeah, bloody hell, what a game. So inspirational last minute stuff from Zan Novak. We stay in sixth. If we win our game in hand, we do go to fourth still. That is still where we stand. So it's not too bad. We're a bit of a way off West Ham, Liverpool and Man City. But yeah, that game in hand puts us on 60 points if we win it. That would put us into fourth into the Champions League, which would be massive. So next up then, we take on Fulham, who again aren't having a brilliant season, led by uh, Cameron Archer up front there. They've got Edson Alvarez at the back as well, so an interesting team for them. We've had a, a long break. It's been a week off, so we're going to stick with the same team and get out there and hope for a win this time. Here we are then, Craven Cottage for Fulham v... Fulham? That's not a team name. Fulham v Gillingham. Um, it should be a good one. 3-3 the last Gillingham game in that extraordinary match against Sheffield United, and the manager's hoping that Zan Novak can step up again. Chelsea, we, we got luck we got lucky because Chelsea drew and I realized I didn't it didn't click after the game. But if Chelsea had won that game, we would have then been two points. Our game in hand would have only have put us one point behind them in foot in fifth. So yeah, Chelsea drawing in the last game as well was absolutely massive. But we are taking on the other team from the Chelsea Putney area, which is Fulham. So let's uh, crack on into the game and hopefully there'll be goals galore for Gillingham. It's Fulham on the attack to start. And it's O'Reilly with a cutback to Cameron Archer. And he's fired it past McNeil. And the first attack of the game has ended in a Fulham goal. Gillingham are going to have to do this the hard way again. It's a good finish from Archer. They were patient. They built it up well. And uh, Fulham take the lead. I just couldn't get the ball off from the little layback to Archer. And a left-footed drive past McNeil. Keeper's got no chance. 1-0 Fulham early on here at Craven Cottage. It's a really good finish. Rivero does really well on the ball. Lovely crossfield pass to pick out. Eduardo. Eduardo's trying to get in behind the defence, but Amzar with a really good challenge. And yeah, Rivero's good midfield play was just uh, came to nothing there as Amzar launches a, a bit of a counter attack here. Navarro has got runners in front of him, and one of them is goal scorer Archer. Archer on the ball into Samid. Gives it back to Archer. Archer, great ball through. Oh, Yamada just got caught on the ball, but Archer's won it back. McNeil, good save. 
Oh, Marco Silva will be happy with how his team have started in this one. And it's all Fulham at the moment. The home team having the better of the game. As Lukic plays it short to Yamada. Yamada goes to the edge of the area to Samid. And uh, for some reason it's not letting me select the right player, which was a bit unfair. But McNeil touches it round the post with his feet. And it's a really good save from our goalkeeper, who is probably one of our players of the year, to be honest. Archer with the head of McNeil. Another superb save from the goalkeeper. And, uh, yeah, we are not starting well in this game. And it's Archer again, and it's McNeil again. And we just cannot mark Cameron Archer here. We are having a bit of a shocker as the start of this game. Lukic into Navarro. Navarro gets round his man and lays it back to Ukoli. Here is Samid on the ball. Shot, he drags it wide. Goal kick. Cusick with a really good run, and he's going to lay that one off to Fujiwara. He's got Zhao inside of him. Zhao's there. Novak's in. Novak scores. It's, it's four goals in two games since I've said he really isn't turning up this season. And he really is turning up at the end of this season. Unbelievable. 1-1. One, one, really good play as Cusick and uh, uh, Fujiwara connected on the left-hand side into Zhao. Moved on to Navarro. And uh, Navarro? Novak. What is wrong with me today? And there, it just took my time. It was basically a penalty, wasn't it? Put it in the top corner. Stroked it home. Keeper's got no chance from that range. 1-1. One, one. Oh, O'Reilly's been caught on the ball and Pinto has done really well to steal it. He's gone over the top looking for Novak. who has brought it down. Zan Novak. Oh, it's another one. It's another one for Zan Novak. And you're getting used to his trademark celebration there. 2-1 Gillingham. Pinto nicking the ball in midfield. And it's finished by Novak. A lovely chip over. Great chest control. And when he's through one-on-one, -on -one, he very rarely misses. Pinto did well. Dinked it over. He got his body in front of the defender. And then Novak this time went to the other side of the goalkeeper. But he had no chance with that one. 2-1 Gillingham. Oh, it's looking good. O'Reilly just beat Jovanovic to the ball. But he's been forced wide. O'Reilly trying to just hold him up. Yamada looks to turn. Good footwork from the winger. Into O'Reilly again. Cut back and it's a good save from McNeil. And Clark gets there first just to hook it away with his left foot. It was a poor clearance but it's uh, away from goal. Out for a throw in at the moment. And Babu will take this one. Looking long into the box. O'Reilly did win it but Rivero has the strength to, uh, to bring this one away. And Rivero could be in it. And Rivero is doing a really good job of bringing this forward. As uh, Rivero looks to... I was hoping the defender would commit himself. But Zhao brought it down and scored. Oh, my word. I was not expecting that. The dink pass from Rivero wasn't good. But Zhao brought it down. And then the first time hit on the half volley. And it's 3-1. Fulham are crumbling here. Great play from Rivero. He is superb in this team. And Zhao gets another one to take his goals to the season in the league to 37, I think it is this season. He just placed himself in front of the defender and then just calmly slotted it home on the volley past the goalkeeper. It's a great goal. Archer could be in again here. We get a man back, put him off. Good defending to just put him off a little bit there at the end, but it's an early substitution from Fulham as O'Reilly, who was definitely at fault for the second goal, he comes off. And uh, is going to be replaced by the silver-haired, black-bearded man whose name I have no idea who that's supposed to be. But uh, there you go. Substitution made for Fulham. But uh, Gillingham are not going to be changing the way they're playing. Fudge, you are bringing out the tricks and tricks and flicks and stuff as well. As he's, he's Zhao into Novak. And Novak's in again. And Novak shoots. Oh, he's hit the woodwork. What an effort from Zan Novak. He's hit the woodwork as Schneider gets onto the end of the ball as well. But De Silva picks up the loose bobbly ball. And uh, the keeper at the end of it has actually done really well. But what an effort from Novak to try and get another goal in this game. And uh, it is going to be half-time. 3-1 Gillingham. So the second half gets underway, as you would expect. No changes for Gillingham. Uh, Fulham still with only the one change they made about five minutes, or 40 minutes, sorry, into the first half. And uh, I still don't know who it is that came on to replace uh, O'Reilly, but uh, it was silver haired black beard man, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. 3 1 Gillingham, it remains. Hopefully, well, we could be in here because that defender massively committed. Fujiwara tries to bring it down, but uh, it got back well. Akoli brings it away. Fulham will be desperately hoping for a better second half. They just capitulated after taking the lead in the first half as Mbabu gets forward. Here is Cameron Archer, who got that early goal, and then it all went wrong for Fulham after that. Lukic is in. Oh, that's a really good bit of skill to get past the slide tackle. And uh, he's uh, lucky for Q6 just to talk into. So the free kick for Fulham is going to be a little short option here into Navarro. Lukic gets it back. 
Lukic to the edge of the area to Akoli. Akoli to Yamada. Back to Akoli. I think Fulham may have just lost the uh, the momentum they had as Samid comes forward with it. Trying to get into a shooting position. Archer does lay it off well. Yamada, they were patient. They worked it well. 3-2. And now I'm wondering that I don't think that's the Yamada we had. I think that's a different Yamada. Because we did have a Yamada and then sell him. But I don't think it's that guy. But that is a very good patient play goal. As Archer just pulled off into space and it freed it up from Yamada as well. 3-2. Gillingham showing some good football at the moment as Novak just holds. Oh, Novak gives. I was going to holds the ball up and then finds his uh, fullback on the overlap, but he gave the ball away with a terrible pass. Lukic comes forward. Rivero puts him under a bit of pressure. Out to Yamada, who's got that second goal for Fulham, which has rejuvenated the Craven Cottage crowd as uh, Samid comes forward with it. Back to Akoli and Marco Silva's men definitely playing on the front foot a little bit more in this second half. And Babu back to Akoli again. Samid. Brings it forward. Knocks it out wide as Fulham keeping possession and slowly making their way up the pitch into the Gillingham half. Samid goes back to Amzar again. Amzar goes down the line and Schneider's going to be tested for pace here. But Amzar has too much of it and runs it out of play. So goal scoring Yamada comes off for Fulham to be replaced by number 10. I'm not sure if that is still Andreas Pereira. Didn't really look like him. But uh, Gillingham also making substitutions. Pinto, Mercado and Fujiwara are off. Marquez, Papadopoulos and Zarin's coming on to the game. Fresh legs for Gillingham. Let's see if they can secure the win. Vega, who came off the pitch, gives it away with his first touch, which is not very good if you're Marco Silva. He'll be absolutely annoyed by that. But Gillingham uh, under a bit of a press here from Fulham. But Rivero's broken the press. And it's really good play from the central midfielder to bring this one away. In it goes to find Novak. Novak has runners and one of them is Papadopoulos. And Papadopoulos has got past the last defender. Papadopoulos, great save from De Silva. And the keeper jumps on the loose ball. Oh, really good save from the goalkeeper. Fulham coming forward. Lukic is a man over here and it's Navarro. Navarro is in space. Amzar holds on to the ball. Good block from Papadopoulos. Tracking back the winger. Putting in a really good shift since coming off the bench. Papadopoulos comes forward and he's got a sort of two-on-one situation if they can time this right. And it's a really good pass into the feet of Zan Novak. Zan Novak shoots and it's never in doubt. 4-2. He has been the man of this episode. Zan Novak is back, baby. He is, he is here. He's settled back into life in Gillingham and he is amongst the goals. And is that going to be the point or the goals the three points that get us back above Chelsea into the Champions League spots. Lovely weighted pass from Papadopoulos into Novak onto that left foot. The keeper committed himself, so we tucked it into the far corner. 4-2 Gillingham. Come on, it's got to be a win now. Navarro's done well on this uh, left-hand side, but Schneider tracks back, gets a block in on the cross. Really good defending from the German as uh, Fulham have the corner. And it's Vega who swings it in. And McNeil says, that's mine. I'll be having that one. Thank you very much. And he gets um, away with a long throw. Although Novak is robbed by Mbabu. And that could be a bit of a stupid play there from McNeil. Although Schneider has defended that really well yet again. And he's just going to try and clear his lines. And no, not only that, he nearly found Papadopoulos. Marquez picks it up. Zhao leads it off to... Papadopoulos again, who goes over the top towards Zan Novak. Zan Novak could be in. Novak! Oh, I went for the power shot. Good defending from Alvarez. And we get a corner just to see out the game. We can just swing this one into the box, knowing that even if it's cleared, it should be full time. As you've, Oh, Jovanovic has done really well to keep that one alive. Novak puts it in the box. And uh, oh, it's bouncing around. Cleared away. And it's full time. Fulham 2, Gillingham 4. And again, with another hat-trick, Zan Novak picks up man of the match. A better performance from McNeil on this one. Uh, the substitutes coming in, had not having too much time to do it. But all the players that went off um, were below six, and everyone that came on had a good impact as well. So as we head into our final two games of the season, we are two points off Chelsea in fourth, four points off West Ham in third. Aston Villa is our game in hand, which will be coming in the next episode, and then we'll have the final game of the season uh, which is us versus Crystal Palace so Villa and Crystal Palace stand between us and a place in the Champions League next season uh, and of course then after that episode we will have the Leeds FA Cup final as a single episode by itself but please do let me know down below do you want us to do it like this next season and play all the games or should we just come back for big games and the European games that matter as well let me know down below thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one cheers